Dad's murder in Belfast may have been a hired hitman. Police probing the murder of Mark Hall are looking for a hitman, who is believed to have killed at least four others in the last few months. A Dublin criminal lord with known Republican inclinations has been linked to a hitman for hire, working in Northern Ireland, according to reports. In the St. James district of West Belfast, Mr. Hall was visiting his mother when he was shot seven times. The assassins of Warren Crossan would have needed local knowledge, and there are no indications of a getaway vehicle being utilized in the killing of Crossan in June last year. When he went to see his mother in St. James, the son of dead dissident Republican Tommy Crossan, two men pursued him and shot him in the street. The guys walked away from the crime scene without the use of a getaway vehicle. Robbie Lawler's murder in Ardoin, North Belfast, in March of last year was connected to Crossan, who was arrested in connection with the crime. Killing Keen Mulready Woods, 17, who was beaten to death and mutilated and dumped at numerous sites in North Dublin, was the work of Lawler's savage Drogheda-based gang, made up mostly of youths. The remains of the teenager have not yet been discovered. There was no ground to stand on in Northern Ireland, and Lawler's gang had no means of launching a counterattack. Saturday's murder is anticipated to be investigated in light of previous execution style, deaths such as that of Warren Crossan, ex-dissident Danny McLean, and heroin dealer Jim J.D. Donegan. There have been two instances in which the shooter and an accomplice have been involved in the murders. It seems that both Crossan and Hall had been betrayed by someone who was close to them, and that their assassins were aware of the time of their trips to relatives' houses in West Belfast. At least seven gunshots hit Hall through a living room window, and he died at the Royal Victoria Hospital in Belfast shortly thereafter. A gunshot just missed his sister when she attempted to interfere when she saw two assailants approach the residence. Sabrina Wilde, who is from Dublin, and their two-year-old daughter Freya were living in the Republic with Hall. Mark Hall's family is well respected in the St. James neighborhood, where he was a member of a deadly criminal organization. Hundreds of people gathered to pay their respects to Johnny, an ex-Republican internee, when he died in 2015. Despite the fact that my family is Republican, Davy Murphy, the former Ballymena quartermaster of the UVF, was killed by loyalist gangs in 2019 for stealing and supplying firearms to dissidents. Hall had connections to Murphy. Murphy enlisted the help of Crossan, whose father was the commander of the Continuity IRA until he was shot dead in 2014, to sell on the loyalist firearms. Hall and Murphy were accused in March 2018 with extorting £10,000 from an Antrim farmer. They informed the victim he owed a £10,000 reward and that failing to pay would damage an elderly relative. Mickey Drummond, a Bestbrick-based dissident, was sentenced to three years in prison for acquiring the UVF guns collection from Crossan. Before the end of the year, Hall was acquitted in court of having a sawed-off shotgun and revolver together with Egyptian citizen Abdul Rez in a Belfast hotel room. His co-accused was sentenced to three years in prison after pleading guilty to possessing guns and a minor amount of narcotics at Belfast Crown Court last month. An ex-criminal associate is said to have passed on information on Hall's whereabouts.